Hey, it's Al Angelo from A Plus Racing. Yeah, I know. It's been summertime and school's been out. But it's back in session again. I have to go back to work. It was 10 weeks of a lot of fun. But hey, so we're back at the Econo Build Spec Miata. And my next step, and I know this isn't really conning, but um, my next step is to install the uh, fuel pressure regulator valve in an NB1. And so um, I bought this kit um, from uh, Advanced Auto Sports in Wisconsin. And uh, so it, it comes with all of this. So it comes with the hoses I need. It comes with the return for the fuel pressure regulator valve. It comes with the fittings and it comes with the adjustable fuel pressure regulator valve with the fuel sample port right here, okay? So it comes with pretty much everything you need. You're gonna need a couple of bolts to mount this in the trunk right here. The other thing you're gonna need is you're probably gonna need one of these. And this is the special tool it takes to get the lines off. Sometimes they're also a little white plastic disc and uh, you can use those too. So anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk you through step by step on how to install this adjustable fuel pressure regulator valve. Now, why do I need one of these? Well, when I dyno tune the car, this is what they're going to adjust, all right? This is one of their adjustments that they use to try to squeeze the most horsepower out of the car. The other thing it does really nice, like I said, it's got the fuel sample port. It makes it really convenient to pass tech. So I don't have to tap into one of the plastic lines up underneath the hood. They open up the trunk, they see this in there, they know it's got a fuel sample port, and we pass, all right? So it kind of serves two purposes here, all right? But hey, we're gonna install this in the next video, and I'll see you at the racetrack. Thanks now.